right, so here we are back again in AutoCAD Architecture. And in this video, I want to show you guys how to add openings to a curve. Now, this can be a little bit uh, challenging if you have never done it before. Um, of course, I'm using a technique that I recently discovered after someone asked me the question. But it's good when you guys ask me a question like this and allows me to challenge myself and to figure out a way to do it. Turns out there's actually a pretty decent way to do it. And so I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that in this video. Now, of course, if you're familiar with adding openings to a straight piece of wall, um, you know, if you've never done that before, it's very simple. Um, all we got to do is to go to the home tab. And if you click on the door drop down, you have opening here. You can type the command opening in the command line or uh, you can come to the tool palette here and if you go up to design I believe we have it here as well so any direction you take it it's the same thing and you can click and add that opening to a piece of wall before I place it what I'm going to do is to set a width of 10 feet and a height of 7 feet that's okay and then I'm going to place it on this wall here so of course I can just drop it right there and uh, from a 3D view you can see that uh, that opening was created and of course we can uh, change the size of it we can move it one side to the next by just dragging this here we can change the height um, also what we can do is uh, change the shape of this opening based on some uh, presets that were already included with AutoCAD so you can pick one of these. I tend to use the arch more often than not but we'll keep it rectangular for now. One last thing I would like to do is to make the layer of this opening to be dotted lines and so of course uh, we know that this is currently on the A wall open layer. So what I like to do is to go to my layer properties and I would like to go to that particular layer and change its line type to hidden. Once that's done, this is how I would prefer to have my opening look. All right, now what I'm going to do is to add a similar opening to the curve wall using the same method. And I'm going to show you what the issue is when you try to do it this way. So we're using the same dimensions here and I'm going to click and I'm going to add it maybe like right here. Now, I'm sure you can see the problem right away. Uh, the fact that it chopped the arc <laughs> or the curve and make it flat. Uh, I don't like that. That looks ugly. That looks weird. Um, as a matter of fact, if we go into a 3D view, I guess it looks okay. Um, but it's kind of still weird because instead of having these edges cutting at a perpendicular to the curve, it's cutting at an angle. I'd rather the arc to come around and finish off perpendicular to the arc in that manner. So the method I'm going to be showing you will be able to do that. It involves a few additional steps, but lucky enough, <laughs> I don't think any of us design buildings that have so many curves that it becomes an issue to add these. Uh, maybe you have one or two openings that you need to add, which means that this method would be worthwhile to use. All right, without chatting anymore, let's jump into it. So what we're going to do is to click on the wall. And uh, one of the things we can do in AutoCAD is to modify the floor line and the roof line. So you might be familiar with modifying the roof line because I've shown that in previous videos. But in this one, we're going to be working on the floor line and we're going to just modify the floor line so that we get that opening in the floor or on the lower portion of the wall. Now, instead of using these options here, one of the options we can use is the edit in place feature. So what this does, it straightens the wall out and make it into a straight line. And if we wrote it in a 3D uh, view, you can see that it gives you a profile of the wall and you can create the shape you want 
uh, to cut out in the wall using these tools up here. So before we go on, if you are an architect, a designer or specialist, maybe you are a student, an educator, a DIYer or even hobbyist, and you desire to go deeper with AutoCAD architecture, please check out my 3D modeling course. That would be the first link below the like button. Now this self-paced course has over 120 lessons with over 18 hours of video content. So it's a lot of things packed in there. And this course was also designed for uh, beginners to intermediate level users, but is also perfect for individuals who want to expand on their skills, you know, individuals uh, looking to start working with 3D designs instead of 2D. And uh, I tell you, you will learn everything you need to know to be proficient with AutoCAD architecture. So if you're interested, check it out in the link. I'll also drop it in the first pin comment below. But yeah, let's jump back into the video. You could also use a polyline to draw whatever shape you want and then convert that polyline to get your shape using this tool over here. Now, of course, I'm not going to do that because I've found that method of doing this to be problematic for some reason. It should work flawlessly, but it doesn't. I think that's just a glitch in the software. So I'm not even going to go down that route. What we'll do is to go here and go down to roof line, floor line, edit. And what this does is to bring up a dialog box to where we can dial in the exact shape and details that we need based on coordinates. Okay. So if you understand how X and Y and distances work, you should have no issues here at all. So instead of modifying the roof line, which is what is active currently, we're going to go down to the floor line. And as you can see, the nodes move down to the floor line. And right now we can go ahead and make changes to the floor line. So what we want to do is to add four more vertices to this baseline here. We want to add our first one out here, whatever distance we want from this edge. Then we're going to go up seven feet. We're going to go across 10 feet and then we're going to come back down. So what we're going to do first is to add a vertex. So insert vertex right here. And we want this vertex to be inserted away from this point. All right. So we can choose whatever options you want here. We can say from the start of the wall, which is usually this side here. And this would be the end of the wall. So from the start, we want to start maybe like five feet away and we want it to sit zero inches on the baseline. So it doesn't move up or down. So we leave it at zero, we hit OK. So we have our first vertex here. We're going to click on that one and then we're going to insert another one. And this time we're going to say from the previous point, and this is important. So this is the previous point horizontally, which would be in this direction, it's going to be zero, right? Because we want to go up. So this is the distance we want to make positive. Okay. So we're going to say vertically from the baseline, we want this to go up seven feet. We hit okay. And so we have our second vertex. So click on that one and we keep going just like that. We want uh, this one to be from the previous point, and then it's going to be 10 feet for this one. So it's going to be 10 feet over. But now we want this side also to be seven feet, which would be the same level as this one. All right, we're going to hit OK. So we have it at 10 feet away from this one, as well as seven feet above. You get that? And then we click on this one and we're going to insert another one from the previous point. And uh, it's going to be zero because we're not moving horizontally. It's going to come down straight like that. So that's going to be zero. And then from the baseline, we want this also to be uh, zero. So we're going to hit OK. And just like that, you would have created a similar opening to what we have on our straight wall, except that this is going to be done on the curve and it's going to look much nicer. Check this out. I'm going to hit OK. And we have our opening created. Now, of course, you don't get this nice looking shape that you can move and manipulate 
Uh, with this one, it's just a fixed thing. And if you wanted to make changes to it, you would have to come back into the floor line uh, section here and make that change. Or at this point, you could possibly go into your edit in place and you can see that that shape uh, has been created. And at this point, you can come and grab, you know, this point and move it however you want to move it. All right. So I'm going to cancel out of that. I do have the shape that I need. And when I go back to my plan view, though, this is what we have. So now you can see that the opening is cutting perpendicular to the arc, which is perfect. That's exactly what I want to see. Now, the only thing is that I'm not seeing the dotted lines above my opening. So we can make some adjustments to be able to see that. And so what we're going to do is to click on this wall and we're going to go to the display settings here. And uh, I think what we can do is to click on this drop down here. So this object override and then here we go right so what i did there was to uh change the second settings here to this object that will apply an override to this wall only and that's important as well because this type of setting you wouldn't want it to be applied to every single wall in your project you would just want it to be for this particular wall. So you want to change that to this object and then make sure you come in here and turn on the above cut plane uh, settings here. And that would give you your dotted lines cutting across like that. And so just like that, now we have a beautiful opening measuring the same height as this one, the same width as well. And now we have the dotted lines running across. You can take this a little further if you wanted to. I'm going to just play around with curtain walls here and uh, and just do something crazy. Uh, let's see what I can do. And I'm going to draw it from here to here to here. Enter. And I'm going to make it seven feet tall since my uh, thing, my opening is seven feet. And I'm going to move this Yeah, there we go. So now I have a curtain wall inside of my other wall. And this is just another thing that you guys can explore and uh, test out. Um, of course, we can add doors and windows into this thing here. I just wanted to show you guys how to add um, openings to your curved walls and adding a curtain wall inside of it uh, just to give you guys a little bit extra. Anyways, hope you guys learned something. Drop a comment below, um, you know, let me know what you think and if you found this uh, valuable.